Into us, into us, burning at both ends. For your love, for your love, let me fall again. Into love. Hello my stars, welcome to my channel, Goddess of Stars Tarot. It is your celestial baddie, Karen, and she is back with another one. If you are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, I appreciate the love and support. Y'all already know what to do. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Most importantly, smash the notification bell so you know when your girl is going to be uploading another reading or when she is going to go live. What is happening, my Geminis? What is happening, my Geminis? <laughs> We are going to dive into the energy or message that you need to know. And if you guys don't know, I do private readings. And if you would like one, you can check out the description box below. Or you can check out my website, goddessofwhispers.com. Now, Geminis, 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 Geminis. I see you guys in the comments or when I go live to do readings for the channel and I am truly, truly um, trying to work on getting my Gemini following up because it is so important for the channel to have the, the backing of my Geminis. So bear with me as I try to build my Gemini energy up. You know, for those of you who are new here, this channel was an all Aquarius channel. This is why you see more Aquarius readings, but this will be balanced out. I'm hoping by the end of August, by that time, the channel will be leveled out where we can have more Gemini readings and more Libra readings in addition to Aquarius readings. So bear with me as we get the energy of my Gemini's in the building and my Libra's in the building so we can do those readings, okay? But this is all about you. This is all about you. So this is going to be your reading, my Gemini, on what you need to know. Right, so let's see what message your spirit guides have for you today. All right? And keep in mind, this will not resonate with each and every one of you. So take what does and leave the rest. Calling on my ancestors and spirit guides and sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Protect us as we go into the divination of tarot. What is the message my Gemini needs to know? What is the message my Gemini needs to know? Let's see. We just need one card. Ooh, the world. So, my Gemini. This can represent a plethora of things. Yes, girl, I said plethora. But this could represent a lot, right? But most importantly, this is about thinking bigger. It could be a time in your life for you to expand in some way, shape, or form here, right? Now it's a time for you to open up your thought process or the way you think, your mindset, in order for you to reach your full potential or to go past that even, right? But this is about, for some of you here, expansion. For some of you here, this could even be representing travel, right? Maybe now, now may be a time for you to travel and explore and get out there in the world, see different things in order to expand your mindset here. For some of you, you may have upcoming travel here with this world card energy. For some of you, this is just saying that it may be a time for you to close out a certain cycle. That now is a time for you to start something new with this world card energy. But we're gonna dive a little bit deeper and see why this is here, because this could even represent success, maybe a cycle being completed. Uh, it could even represent, you know, growth in some way, or maybe even freeing yourself from something here in your life, maybe gaining the clarity that you need to a situation. For some of you, maybe reaching some sort of ultimate goal. But we're gonna dive a little bit deeper and see what is going on. What is the message here for my Gemini? Cut the deck. We have Watchtower of East, Spring Energy. Yeah, the, uh, my Geminis, this energy is about some sort of new beginning here for you, right? Now is the time for you to work with the element of air because the energy surrounding you right now, my Gemini, is that of new energy in your life. Needing to cleanse whatever it is that 
is keeping you from maybe starting something new. Maybe this is your sign for some of you. If you wanted to start something new, this is your sign for you to actually take that leap of faith is what this message is indicating. And channel your air energy, my Gemini. Yeah, definitely the message is very clear for you, Gemini. You also have fertility. So fertility energy is about your ideas are coming to pass or you need to... Uh, plant those seeds in order for your ideas to come to pass or flourish in some way, shape or form. This is a time for you to take action in order for you to get the results that you are looking for. Now's the time for you to explore my Gemini's is what your message is. Now's the time for you to be open to new things, new experiences. If you feel like you've been in a cycle of some sort, now's the time to break that cycle, liberate yourself of that in order for you to expand and grow. And if you are thinking of either starting a new business, starting a new relationship, whatever the case may be here for you, Gemini, this is your sign to put yourself there, to actually do that. So let's see what other messages you receive. This is about a new beginning for you, my Gemini, but you need to take that leap of faith is what the message is. We have time for a nap that came out for you. We also have that for, um, that's interesting, for... Um, my Aquarius, but this is a time for you to actually recharge your energy. Maybe you need to take a moment to self-reflect on what it is that you truly want for yourself here, my Gemini, in order for you to achieve the things that you are wanting to achieve here for yourself. We also have deep knowing. So this is about listening to the Oracle within you, right? This energy is about following your intuition. Again, I'm getting a high sense of like, I don't know who you are in the collective. It's like something here that you want to do, but you're not sure of. And I'm being told to tell you this is your sign to take that leap of faith, right? Because what this is indicating is, is that this is something that could be truly successful for you, but it's all about getting out of your head in order to achieve that. We also have at the bottom of the deck, higher power. This energy is about seeing all things in higher form, right? Seeing source energy in all things and committing to a partnership with spirit in order for you to evolve and achieve the things that you want to achieve in your life, right? So I truly feel like there is a higher force that surrounds you, my Gemini, that is trying to push you in a direction of achieving the goals that you would like to achieve here for yourself in your life is what I feel. Okay. So let's see what other messages you receive. What other messages do you have for my Gemini? What other messages you have for my Gemini? It's saying that you already know. It's almost like you already have these answers, Gemini, but there's something surrounding you that maybe keep it. Yeah. Look, what, look what, what's coming out. The messages are flowing for you. So this is about confronting yourself, right? I feel like this is about talking to your inner self here, Gemini, right? You could be having your thoughts that is keeping you back or maybe the thoughts of others that is that you are allowing to get to you subconsciously in some way. But this is about reasoning with self, or confronting some things within your shadow side that is keeping you from elevating here, okay? So I strongly feel like my Gemini's that you need to figure out what it is that you truly want for yourself and go for it. I feel like this is the, the readings about a green light. You know what I mean? Like, okay, we have these cards that's wanting to flip. Yeah, I feel like this is about a green light for you, right? And then the bottom of the deck is the recognition and reward. However, I do feel like it's about releasing whatever mental confliction that is holding you back from achieving your goals here, right? So this could be a fight between you and you, <laughs> pretty much. A fight from you and you that is keeping you back from achieving the things that you want to achieve, right? Because the material harvest energy is in the reverse, which is pretty much just saying here for you, 
my Geminis, that now is the time for you to get that energy out of your head that is keeping you from wanting to be the best version of you. And it could be somebody here that is in your head that's telling you you can't achieve this, right? Or someone that's planting these seeds, which is making you go against you. I feel like this reading is about like just you, like you are facing you here, uh, my Gemini, but it's keeping you from achieving your life dreams. This nine of pentacles in the reverse is like lack of self-sufficiency or having some sort of financial issues here in some way, shape or form. But all of this is due to the fact of mental confliction. Right. The only reason why the five of swords is showing up here in the reverse, this energy is about trying to find resolution, uh, some type of resolution to the conflict that you are having mentally. Or avoiding situations that's keeping you mentally confused or stuck or maybe maybe making you feel like you can't achieve or accomplish the things. Remember the mind is a powerful thing. As much as the mind can help you elevate, the mind can also keep you down. Especially if there are seeds that are being planted that is telling your inner self that you can't achieve or you can't do. Right? We started the reading off with the world. Now's the time to think bigger. Think bigger than you are thinking because you deserve everything, my Gemini. You deserve it all. This is what this energy is representing. You deserve it all. This is a time for you, my Gemini, to be rewarded. So if you are looking for a sign, a green light, shimmery things in front of your face, this is your message. It's telling you now is a time for you to go after those ideas, go after that new beginning. We had fertility, right? Which is about your ideas coming to pass or now is a time for you to take action and have that will in order to bring what it is that you truly desire to fruition. Fertility is about nurturing something in order to make something bigger or better, right? It's all about growth here. It's what your message is indicating, but it's about getting outside of your head. This is why conflict and defeat. You could be feeling defeated because your shadow side is telling you that you can't. I know the fuck you lying. You can achieve everything that you desire. Look at the next card is power. You can achieve everything you desire. That's the strength card. So it's telling you to have that courage to face whatever it is that's holding you back, my Gemini. This is your sign. All right, let's close out with your advice. What's the advice you have for my Gemini? What is the advice you have for my Gemini? You know exactly what you need to do. Look at that. One side is cut the deck. Trust the universe. The other side is step into your power. My Gemini's. This couldn't have been a, a, any better of a reading. This is about taking action towards the things that you know that you truly deserve. Come up with a plan first. Start, start, that's, a, that's a seed. Coming up with a plan is a seed. After you come up with a plan, then you execute it. Whatever that may look like for you, right? But start somewhere. All you have to do is start. Take the first step. It's telling you to trust the universe. But keep in mind, you have to be consistent in what you're doing in order to achieve it. Now is a time for you to be courageous and step into your power because you deserve everything that your heart truly desires. All right, my Geminis, thank you so much for being patient with me, but this is your message. I will try to do to get the Gemini energy going and flowing at least, I would say maybe three to four readings a month for you guys until we can get the energy of my Geminis on the channel. I appreciate you. Love and light. Mwah.